There are hundreds of billions of alien worlds in the Milky Way galaxy. And scientists have already discovered and confirmed over 5,000 of them. They call these worlds exoplanets. Some of them are really small, like Kepler-37b. This tiny planet is even smaller than Mercury, the smallest planet in our solar system. Kepler-37 is just slightly larger than our own moon. It could easily replace our cosmic companion in the night sky. Only it's pretty far from us. This tiny space rock is located 208 light years from Earth, where it orbits a star that's a bit smaller and cooler than our sun. Small rocky worlds like Kepler-37b are a pretty rare find. Because they're so tiny, they're more difficult to spot, but scientists have still managed to confirm about 200 of these worlds. Most of them are many, many times closer to their stars than our planet is to the sun, and Kepler-62c is no exception. This Mars-sized exoplanet orbits its star roughly four times closer than Mercury orbits our sun. It only takes a little over 12 Earth days to make a full orbit. Kepler-62c must be scorching hot and extremely volcanic. Eh, definitely not the kind of place you'd want to visit. And neither is this exoplanet, KOI-55b. Scientists think this planet used to be the size of Jupiter, but then its sun exploded into a red giant and swallowed the planet whole. Uh, no surprise there, KOI-55b is incredibly close to its star. So close that it takes this hellish world less than five hours to make one orbit. And KOI-55b is evaporating so much that it will soon disappear from its planetary system. It's not alone. Many of these planets have their atmospheres torn away by their host stars. Some 41 light years from Earth, there's a super Earth that used to be a mini Neptune. GJ1132b might have had a thick hydrogen atmosphere in the past, but its young hot star stripped it away, leaving only a rocky core behind. When its star stripped away its original atmosphere, some of the gases were absorbed into the planet's mantle, and now, through this planet's volcanism, they're released back. GJ1132b could have become a potentially habitable world, but it's 26 times closer to its star than Mercury is to the Sun. No chances for life on this super-Earth. But life might be possible on these slightly larger super-Earths. Scientists have found many of these worlds orbiting in their sun-like star's habitable zones. And that's good news. Now, we'd have to go and explore more of these planets up close to find out what their atmospheres are like. This one seems intriguing. Kepler-452b is 1.6 times the size of Earth, and it's about 6 billion years old. Earth is a youngster compared to this world. Our planet is only 4.5 billion years old. Okay, now, I know this is your favorite exoplanet. Kepler-22b. And I like it too. This super-Earth might be covered in a super-ocean. It sits comfortably in its star's habitable zone and has a huge potential for life. The only problem is that it's big. Kepler-22b is 2.4 times larger than Earth and about 9 times more massive. If Kepler-22b was the size of Earth, it would have an average surface temperature of about 16 degrees Celsius. But because it's a lot bigger than Earth, it could be a rocky planet, a water world, or even a gaseous planet like Neptune. And speaking of gaseous planets, at this size, exoplanets stop being super-Earths and become gas giants. More than half of all exoplanets we've discovered are either Neptune-like ice giants or gas giants like Jupiter. Many of them orbit a little too close to their host stars, and they pay a high price for that proximity. For one, they're incredibly hot, and sometimes 
their host star rips their atmosphere away. Eh, kind of like what GJ1132B went through. But among them, there are some cold planets too. Oof. This is Kepler 16b. It's not quite as large as Jupiter, but the cool thing about it is that it orbits not one, but two stars. Only you wouldn't be able to see those stars because you wouldn't be able to stand on its surface. You see, Kepler 16b is a Saturn sized gas giant. It might have some rocky elements inside it, but its two host stars are much cooler than our Sun, making Kepler 16b a frigid, lifeless world. Okay. Now on to the worlds that are bigger than Jupiter. This delicious exoplanet has the density of a marshmallow. TOI 3757b is slightly larger than Jupiter, but it's not nearly as massive. But there are always bigger and badder planets out there, like Kepler 7b. This one is interesting. Kepler 7b is larger than Jupiter, but it has half of Jupiter's mass. This means the planet is like a super light cloud, a scorching hot super light cloud. Kepler 7b is a hot Jupiter planet. It's 12 times hotter than the king of the solar system. Still, Kepler 7b is not the hottest or the weirdest of the exoplanets. Some of these gas giants are so unimaginably hot that they tear molecules apart. Yeah, and some planets are just doomed. 1400 light years away from Earth, a star slightly bigger and hotter than our Sun is devouring its planet. This planet is called WASP 12b. It's almost double the size of Jupiter, but it's not going to last very long as far as planetary lives go. WASP 12b is so close to its star that it takes just over one Earth day to complete its orbit. Its own star is actually eating the planet's atmosphere, making it stretch into the shape of this egg. 10 million years from now, WASP 12b will be gone. And some exoplanets are unimaginably huge. The biggest one of them is almost seven times larger than Jupiter. HD 10546b isn't just seven times larger than Jupiter, it's also 750 times more massive. HD orbits its star 10 times further away than Jupiter orbits the Sun. That's pretty far, and it makes scientists wonder how this gigantic exoplanet formed so far away from its star. There's no doubt that some exoplanets out there look promising for finding life. We've found quite a lot of them orbiting in the habitable zone of their stars. In fact, some of these worlds might even be better for life than Earth. But that's a story for another What If.